Hello, my little thieves. Welcome, welcome to a very different video. I got my little minty here with me. My little unicorn, alicorn, even, because she got wings. Because uh, she's going to sit here and react with me. Now, I'm sure you all know of Uncle Roger. Yes. We are not actually going to react to his video though because I've watched his video because my parents and my aunt and everybody who lives in Malaysia who has seen him has sent it to me. So I've already seen the original video. So I won't be reacting to his initial video. I will be reacting to other people reacting to Uncle Roger because I'm so unoriginal like that, you know, yeah. So uh, today we are going to watch Mrs. Eats, Straight Up Eats, reacting to Uncle Roger's egg fried rice. I'll be putting the link to her video down in the description below, so do not worry about that. Uh, that will be all over the place, so let's get right in to the video. Let's change the screen so you guys can see. Taiga Hao! It's Mrs. Eat. Today, we're gonna be watching our favorite uncle, Uncle Roger's fried rice. You guys don't watch rice before making fried rice? That's insane! Ah, uncle Roger know nothing about fried rice. I actually want to say something about that. Uh, the the, the uh, not washing rice before you eat, uh, before you cook it. I actually thought it was really funny when I was watching uh, one other react video uh, that's what gave me this idea actually but uh, while I was watching that react video the guy was like do, do they really cook rice like that and I so wanted to just go up to him and be like yes they do unfortunately over here they do it's really weird uh, when I was staying at my university dorm uh, with five other people they were not washing their I think no they were I th wait were they washing their rice I can't remember they were either there were either some of them that were washing their rice and some that didn't wash their rice I think the previous dorm before that I did they didn't even eat rice so <laughs> uh, but this dorm they did and yes they cooked rice exactly like that and it pained me so yes but let's take a look. Three, two, one. Here we go. Drain it. Dra What's it doing? What's it doing? Guess Drain the. Oh my god! Oh You're my killing god. me, woman. No, Are it's normal okay? for Japanese. Oh she, really? The rice. She it's actually she good. The <laughs> Hello, my name is Uncle Roger. Hello, Today Uncle Roger. I react to a video sent to me by a fan. Uh huh. You are which is very popular rice. too. Mm -hmm. BBC, let me see. Is it like something? BBC, like let me rice? see. No, no. Oh, I love that they. Uh, I forgot that that was a thing. He played the was it the Law and Order song? This I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. It's not a dirty word. Uncle Roger, not <laughs> BBC. Play the video. <laughs> oh my god, it gets me every time. Egg fried rice. Mm -hmm. Don't mm. be afraid. This is really simple. It's cheap. Yeah. It's delicious. Really it's satisfying. I see. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> <You> rewind. <laughs> I love that. Who a fan of egg fried rice is the most right? common dish everybody yeah, so easy. Anyone can make it. Anyone can make it. Right, Roger. Uncle Roger, scare ghost. You scare egg fire rice. <laughs> Failure. 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 Already? Oh my it's God. cheap, it's delicious, it. really satisfying, and it's like a takeaway, but you haven't paid eight quid for it. Who pay eight pounds for takeaway egg fire rice? Yeah, I want to know that too, because I don't pay eight pounds for takeaway egg fried rice. <laughs> they think money go on the tree paying eight pounds for egg fire rice. <laughs> Oh, I also want to say, this is actually really funny, because when he said hi -ya, I actually laughed, because um, I don't say hi -ya. I say ay -ya. so instead of the H-I, I just go straight to the A, so instead of hi -ya, I say ay -ya. It's not really obvious, <laughs> I am from Malaysia, I swear. 
Oh, is that jasmine rice or something? What kind of rice is she using? Oh. Why you measure water with cups? Just use finger. finger. You <laughs> Me water. too, we use a finger, finger too. Point, yeah, first joint. Yeah. Exactly. Water, right. <laughs> I think she... I, actually, we... Um, my mom uses the cup that comes with the rice cooker. So, yeah. We don't measure it with the finger like we should, but uh, we have the... Uh, Asian rice cooker cups. Again, it's British tea cup. I am not confident this video is enough rice for around two people. Interesting looking rice. Wait, so you don't wash the rice? Yeah. Oh, you don't wash the rice, just cook the Oh my god. Stinky like you. Where you learn how to some white people cooking school or something. Yeah, that's unfortunately true. I I don't think people over here think that they cook rice as often as we do. Uh, maybe that's why they don't teach how to properly make rice or something. Because when I was back in school and we were being taught cookery, I think that's what it's called. I can't remember if it was called that. It was a long time ago. But we, we were taught cookery and we were never taught at any point of how to cook rice, which is the simplest thing to make. But I learned how to do it at home anyways. So, <laughs> so now the rice is on, it's time to... Crack on with the eggs. Oh, ha ha, crack on. I see what you're doing. So punny, so humorous. I dying laughing. I dead now. <laughs> frying pan here. Get that onto a medium heat. And then just add a little bit of oil. Mm. So let that heat up. That's just a little mm. bit of oil. One. Okay. Egg and egg by right. Try and do this one handed. Oh, really? Oh. oh. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I give you that. I still don't understand how people crack with one one hand. I keep pausing. I'm so sorry, but I, I baffles the hell out of me how people can crack eggs with one hand. Halfway, you do that? Once it's on a simmer, you want to cook it for around ten minutes. You know what I don't like? I'm Just ten so minutes. Larger, don't like induction Ooh. stove. You know those stove with no fire. I'm <laughs> the fire. Who used yeah. induction stove? It's so yeah. lame, so not satisfying. You go camping, <laughs> you set up campfire, you don't set up camp uh -huh. induction stove. Oh, exactly. Everybody yeah. come, come sit around this camp induction stove, let's tell stories, <laughs> let's make marshmallow. <laughs> I, I, I got what he was trying to put out there, because um, in the dorms, I'm going to go back to uni again, because that's the only time I wasn't at home, but in the dorms, we had induction stoves, and it was so tragic, because every time I turned it on, Especially in the old dorm, so my first year dorm, the induction stove didn't have like a light or anything to show that it's on. So one time, I can't remember if it was when we first got in there, but I didn't do this, by the way. Um, my, one of my dorm mates went and touched the induction stove to see if it was on or not. I'm so sorry if you're watching this, but he, he touched it to see if it was on. And it was... At least it wasn't like burning hot at the time. It was just like warm. But he, he, oh my god, I just wanted to slap his hand away. But he would just touch the thing, you know? And you never know when it's like properly hot or not, unlike with the fire. So I don't like induction stoves. I'm so glad I'm back at home where we have proper fiery stoves. <laughs> when he in, oh. What did say? Wang? Wang? Wang your eggs in. Wang your eggs in. Don't wang anywhere near your egg fire rice. Don't wang anything in case. I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't get it. <laughs> your wang. Your wang. Don't put your wang anywhere near. No. That's how I got fired from Chinese restaurants. <laughs> okay. She doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. Okay. Oh. We are looking good. The rice not mm. looking good. No. Not at all. So wet. Yeah. It. Looks so yeah. sticky. What's she doing? What's she doing? Train the oh my <laughs> god! You're killing me, woman! Hiya! Train the the rice. She's train training rice. rice with colander. Hi. How can you train rice with colander? This is not pasta. 
I've never seen anyone drain rice. If your rice too wet, you fucked up. <laughs> Don't bring corn syrup to your rice cooking. I uh, get a nice rice cooker. <laughs> I actually want to commend Uncle Roger for being able to put up an Asian accent all the way through the videos that he makes because I can never force my Asian accent to come out. I only ever have it naturally when I'm talking to my family and then when I'm talking to other people or just talking in general. It's not my Asian accent. It's a very generic American one. According to people I talk to, I sound very American. I've never been there. Mess with saucepan like this lady here. Don't mess with colander. If your rice too wet, you recook the rice. Yeah, re no way it. to save wet rice. Has quite a lot I of agree. starch in it. I agree. I agree. It gets very gloopy and gross. <laughs> which will make what it... What the... What? Unless you're trying to make porridge. In which case, it's fine. But what is she doing? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uncle Roger, so I... upset. I put my leg down from chair. Why are you running water <laughs> through... <laughs> Oh, so yeah. Jay. I don't think Uncle Roger knows anything about making fried rice. Uncle Roger, we actually wash your rice before making fried rice here in Japan. It tastes pretty good. I put my leg down too. I think it's just because there's a different way to make egg fried rice. That's why. But we Malaysians make it with leftover rice. Don't make it with freshly cooked rice. Let's watch. Ruining the rice first, you use colander to dry the rice, and then you put water. Then why bother drying the rice? Who cook rice like this? Yes, How did this we do. Get on BBC Food. <laughs> ask Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger, <laughs> teach masterclass on making rice. But this oh. colander on the rice. <laughs> water to That's rice. normal for this Japanese is, oh, people. We oh, do it like this. Oh, don't be sad, Roger. Uncle Roger, sad. it might taste good. <laughs> Rest in peace, uh, rice. Do it so gets me. <laughs> me now, just add oh, lots of vegetables. Ginger, okay. okay. Classic, oh, that's a classic Asian. The journalist amount. Okay. Mm. Okay. And then you want to put all the other ingredients in. Mm. Rice. Yeah. Oh, the sad gloopy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks fine to me. Sad gloopy rice. Spring onions. Oh, colorful. Looks nice. I hate peas and fried rice. Don't put peas and fried rice. I will not eat it if you put pe peas and fried rice. Where's meat? Mm. Don't you put any meat? Yeah, where's the this meat? This looks okay, mm -hmm. but look too healthy. I agree with you, Roger. You don't use MSG. Yes. Give me two. S I'm gonna be right back. I'm back and I'm proud to present um, MSG. <laughs> this is our. Thank you, Lucifer. This is our jar of MSG right here. Uh, <laughs> our jar of MSG. I don't know why people don't eat it. It's so good. It just looks like salt. You sprinkle it in your food, makes it taste so much better. <laughs> yum, yum. I actually saw my mom put it in I think it was a stew and I, I looked at the jar and I thought it didn't look like salt so I was like hey mom is that MSG <laughs> she's like yes <laughs> uh, this is actually a whole food preserved jar because mom doesn't like having stuff in packets uh, especially when they're flaky like this or like sugar packets because when you open them they just everywhere and it's like a waste kind of so mom's like we don't gonna waste anything okay let's continue the video msg msg or ajinomoto in japan msg makes everything tasty just white yes. people egg fried rice msg <laughs> is the, the king of flavor if you sad in life use msg if you happy in life use msg put msg in everything it'll turn it better you just get a baby Put MSG on baby. You'll be better baby. Exactly. <laughs> oh, looks nice. 
Mmm, colorful. Looks healthy. What happened? Why? Using metal to scrape your sauce. Oh, even I don't do that. Oh. Uncle Roger, you are so good. I use metal on saucepan at home growing up. I will be this old. No more parents. Oh, really? Oh, my God. One is when your rice run out, number two is when you scrape pan with. That's true. <laughs> we, ne we never seem to run out of rice in my house. Like, you go downstairs, you go into the food storage. Correction, Asian storage room. Uh, Asian food storage room. <laughs> and you just open the door. And there's just a bunch of Asian food. And the primary thing that's on the floor is we have at least two bags of rice. Two bags of rice. Now you split pan with metal. I, yeah. I I'm sorry to hear that, Roger. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen my mom scrape the pan or anything with a metal spoon or something. It's always either with chopsticks or with like the cooking utensil that she's using. So delicious. I'm very proud of myself. Mm. Why are you proud of yourself? You, <laughs> you messed up everything. <laughs> she she <laughs> dry the rice and wet the rice and dry this the is rice good. You can use MSG. Ah, uh, yeah, she needs MSG. Part of herself. Egg fried rice. Uncle Roger know how to make egg fried rice. And Uncle Roger, three year old. And this lady, I don't know, 34. 34, very, very close, I think. I don't know how old she is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> BBC Size. Good Food. This is not good video. People Aww. use this video, make egg fried rice, and they think egg fried rice is disgusting. <laughs> oh, she's, he's been very harsh. Video. Not surprisingly. Uncle Roger. <laughs> Uncle Roger teach you proper technique mm. the Asian way. Yes. Follow me on Instagram. This is Already my Instagram. Do. It's my nephew Nigel. He set up Instagram for me. He managed my Instagram. But follow the Instagram. Bye bye. Bye bye. <gasps> wow, that was he rarely used Uncle Roger. <laughs> But one thing I have to I have to disagree with you is the washing rice part. I know a lot of you guys feel disgusting to wash the rice before you make fried rice, but in Japan, not everybody, but like my mom or some of my friend's mother used to wash the rice before making fried rice. You I think that was what he was getting at. I don't think she actually realized that that was what he was um cuz he questioned that he she didn't wash the rice at the beginning and then he was wondering why she was washing the rice after it was cooked not before it was cooked i think that's why she got a little bit confused you know why because the starchiness and stickiness will be you know drained out so you can easily make uh we call it para para fried rice like a nicely dried fried rice that sounds re that doesn't sound really good but nicely dried fried rice yeah, I hope you enjoy watching that. Uncle Roger's video with me. I think I feel like making some fried rice with washed rice. See you in the next video. Okini! Yeah, um, I don't think she got the fact that he meant why you're washing the rice after. But <laughs> Okay, um, that was fun. I don't think I've ever seen someone else react to Uncle Roger apart from my family and that one other guy on YouTube. Uh, but I really wanted to do this because I really wanted to see like other people's reaction to Uncle Roger. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be doing the same person for the next one. If you guys want to like suggest other people's reaction videos to Uncle Roger, put them down in the comments below. And if you like seeing these reaction videos, like send some videos to react to, I guess. Um, uh, where can you send it to, though? I wonder. You know, I'll think about that, and then in the next video, if I decide that I will, you guys send. If you guys actually want more of this garbage content, then uh, I'll give you guys an email to send my react to send react videos to. So don't worry about it. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's it for Uncle. Uh, well, not Uncle Roger because. That wasn't his video, but Mrs. Eats' reaction to Uncle Roger. That was her reaction video, so if you want to check her video out, put get down in the description below. Um, 
Mm. And if you want to suggest any other videos, I've already mentioned this, but also because it's my channel and this random ass channel, okay? If you want to suggest any games for me to play, put those down in the comments below. Actually, if you want me to react to any other video, put those down in the comments below. I will look at them. Just put them down in the comments, okay? I will I will look at my comments. I look at them every day. Um subscribe for more of this garbage and random content. I guarantee you that my channel is the most organized random channel you'll ever see. Unless you find another one, in which case, send it my way, I'll take a look. Because <laughs> I'm curious to see if there are any other channels as messy as mine. Um, but yes, this has been the Phantom reacting to Mrs. Eats. And I'll see you, my little thieves, in the next one.